Good morning guys, day 44, 20 kilometer day today. I am leaving at 7.30, I already have my breakfast, a cappuccino and a chocolate napolitano. And uh, yeah, today the route is supposed to start up there, the church. Very uh, steep incline going up uh, stairs, goes around the mountain, and then it meets up right in front of me again. I think it's a little bit unnecessary, so I'm just gonna walk ahead and meet up with it in 10 or 15 minutes. been a day of walking on the road which is not bad through uh, small villages one after the other temperature is nice and cool great for walking and uh, yeah making progress it's been up and down but that's been the theme for the last uh, couple of days uh, I think it's uh, two or three more days until I'm at the valley Very nice, very nice. Uh, it is almost 11 o'clock. Deviated from uh, the Via Francigena. I'm taking an alternative route. I stop at this uh, small village for a snack. I have some uh, water, some beer, don't say anything. And uh, I am now flanking this uh, river. The Via Francigena is somewhere up there right now going up and down and doing his thing and I'm here down below this is probably just a little bit longer but on flat terrain it's been a very nice day not much to see except for though that castle I've seen uh, three pilgrims today right now we're at the stage where we just see each other and we're like hey hey I'm sure as the days go on, we're gonna start talking to each other and establish a friendship. If you don't have Camino, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, gone are the days where I'm just walking by myself. So many arrows and signage that uh, I don't get to use uh, my GPS as much. Sometimes I do it out of a uh, habit, just to make sure that I'm on the right track. But uh, very hard to get lost now. Although um, we are in this very uh, narrow canyon, I think it would be very hard to get lost anyways. Just going down until we reach the valley. While I was taking uh, my little break, I made sure that I put some uh, sunscreen on. I've been very bad in the last few uh, days, if not weeks, uh, about protecting myself from the sun. And I've gotten quite a tan can't even see my glasses have been uh, marked make sure to protect yourself man well I finally made it to the hotel it is uh, six minutes to, uh, to one there's nobody here doors are locked i was hoping to have lunch in the in the restaurant here but i guess i'm gonna have to find another place check-in is at two so probably they open at two the sun came out not a single cloud in the sky and it was kicking man that last stretch there was no shade it was uh it was brutal I definitely need uh, to get myself uh, a hat. 
Let's go to a restaurant or something, because I'm starving. Looks like this place had its better days. Looks abandoned now. Finally had uh, my lunch. Uh, not surprisingly, I found a restaurant and I had a feast, man. I had spaghetti and cold cuts and water and uh, espresso. And then I made it here to the hotel. It was still closed. I had to wait outside for about 10, 15 minutes and then the lady showed up. I'm the only one staying here. There's nobody else. The town is really, you know, not much to see other than the castle over there in the distance. I don't know if you see it on top of the mountain. I walked around town a little bit. Turns out that I'm pretty far away from the center. There's a little village there, a few restaurants and such. And uh, alone in this hotel, feels like a uh, home alone should I go explore <laughs> today was a very uh, you know easy day compared to days past I did not expect uh, coming down the Alps to be so up and down I thought it was just gonna be down the middle of the corridor so to speak but it's been up and down on the hills it is taxing on the, on your knees uh, tomorrow is going to be a 17 kilometer day. I'm uh, planning to leave the hotel around 8 or 9, 9 o'clock. No need to uh, rush it unless it rains. I'm going to check the, the weather up. Just waiting for 7 o'clock so I can go get myself a salad and call it a day. guys I just had a uh, dinner I had a uh, swordfish at a pizza place yeah so I'm back at the hotel right now I'm taking the elevator going to my room and uh, we're gonna call it a night <laughs> I'm the only one in this hotel so a uh, little bit spooky, but uh, what are you gonna do? You get used to it. Here's my room. That's it, tomorrow I plan to uh, wake up, I don't know, eight o'clock. How does that sound? Have breakfast and head out because tomorrow is only a 17 kilometer day and from what I saw on the Google uh, Earth app, it's going to be easier than yesterday and today. There's going to be more valley as the mountains are starting to open up and we're going right through it. And uh, there's also going to be a lot to see. There's going to be a couple of castles, a couple of uh, famous bridges. So I don't want to spoil the surprise. So. Uh, See you guys tomorrow.